hope you have a good weekend. I love you so much. Good morning everybody, welcome back to our channel. Um, it is a bright and sunny day here today, but it is still super cold. I have got a jumper on and um, my cardigan and I'm still feeling really chilled, but it is really, really blue and lovely outside. Um, it's Sunday, most of us are up, washed and dressed, apart from Jude, um, because last night Jude went to his very first boxing match up in London with his dad and they did not roll in until 2.30 a.m. So the boy is tired. I'm going to leave him in his room to wake up naturally so that he gets as much sleep as he needs. Um, I didn't get to speak to him um, about what it, how it went so I'm really looking forward to hearing about that. Now, I am currently standing in what used to be Jean, Elsie and Iris's room. Um, so what happened, what's been happening is um, Jude and Max, they haven't really been getting along the best at the moment. So there's quite a bit of tension and conflict. So to try and ease all of that um, and diffuse the situation, we have switched Max and Jean around. So Max is now in here with Elsie and Iris and Jean is in with Jude. So we're just hoping that this is going to like keep them out of each other's hair a little bit more and we can try and like build up their relationship in other areas because it just sometimes seems that um, when they're together for too long um, they just get on each other's nerves, rub each other up the wrong way shall I say. But like they can really get on a lot of the other time so I'm hoping like the room switch will just help a bit especially as Jean's a bit older and Jean and Jude get on really well and Max and Elsie get on really well. So fingers crossed that this is going to help bring some peace to the house. So guys I'm going to football in about half an hour and I'm practicing outside because I like to like practice before I go and I'm practicing here hitting the, cro the, the crossbar well it's actually the top of the spring but Jude has just risen from his bed. How are you feeling? Tired. Why, did, why didn't you stay in bed? You could have. I was going to let you sleep until you naturally woke up. I did naturally wake up because he's sort of screaming. So you got woken up. Who? I was it so much noise from I know. Nowhere in this house can it be silent, can it? How was it last night? Good. Was you tired? really tired. But when you were out, you were too tired? I got tired towards the end. In the bus, it was horrible because I was so tired. It was a journey long? Yeah. Um, Daddy sent me a picture with, um, I've forgotten his name, Derek. Is that it? Derek Chisora. Yeah. Yeah. And Ryan. Oh, and Ryan. How did Ryan do? He won. Oh, good. Um, how many rounds? Everyone had different. Some people had four, some people had eight, some people had ten. Some how did you three. feel watching it? Fine. You didn't feel like upset or anything. No. When I watch boxing sometimes, if someone's getting hurt, like one person's like clearly losing, I feel really sad for the loser, don't you? All the fights, that it, they, all the fights were mismatched. All the fights, one of the, one of the boxers was way better. Was way better. Yeah, I suppose. It's all amateur though, isn't it? No, no, it's. Pro. Oh, it was pro, yeah. Because Ryan's pro, isn't he? Yeah. Oh. Um, Anthony Ard's a pro, Danny's a pro. So ha has it still made you want to be a boxer? Yeah. Yeah? Was there a lot of people there? Yeah, tons. But it's such an old boxing place. Yeah, York Hall. I know, I saw a picture of it. It's been around for years. Chairs are all really old. Oh. Uh, so you enjoyed it though? Yeah. Oh, cool. Why are your lips so sore, dude? So they look I'm massive, red and sore. I you haven't drink. drunk. I haven't drank from 10 o'clock. Why? Because we had no water. Why didn't Daddy buy you a drink? You're not allowed to bring no water in the place. Unless you go outside. What, you're not? So no one's allowed to drink in there? Yeah. Unless you go outside and have a drink outside. Have a big glass of water right now. So, guys, what me and my friend are doing, we are knitting these squares. Of, we're using those different colour wool, we're knitting squares. Then we're going to sew the squares together and then give them to a dog shelter for dogs. We're making like a blanket for dogs. And me and Jude, Jude actually got his knitting out the other night and he was sitting down there and I was in my bed and we were knitting and talking. He always wants to talk. 
and I don't want to talk, I want to read, or I want to do knitting, I don't want to talk, but then he's just like poking his head down from his bed, like Jean, like he's literally like hanging from there, or sometimes he's in his bed just hanging, and he's like, Jean, 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 it just does not stop, is just crazy, oh guys, in the book that I'm reading at the moment, I finished all, I finished all the land of the stories, and they're really, really good, and at the moment I'm reading Artemis, I lost my bookmark, but I know what page I'm on. I'm on page 53, and it's really, really good. I really like it. I really recommend it. And before Artemis, I read four. I love Divergent. It's, like, the best book ever. I really recommend it as well. I, I guys, I literally recommend, like, every book I've read. Then, um, after Artemis, I'm probably going to read Saving Marty which seems like a really, really good book. Um, it's about a boy, well, up here it says, a boy who needs a friend and a pig who thinks he's a dog. So yeah, it seems really interesting. So I'm going to be reading that after Artemis and I'm probably going to finish Artemis soon. I need to like, keep that reading. Then I've just done like knitting, even though I haven't even done that much. I've done 13 rows of this and then um, my friends, they've all got their own knitting at their house. So yeah, it's so like peaceful sharing a room with you because sharing a room with Iris and Elsie, like they will just come running in while I am um, just like doing something and I want to be alone. I just want to be alone in my room. I don't want to have like, even if I'm just looking at Instagram, I like to be alone. I don't want people just like running in and like making so much noise, pulling toys out. Not there's anything wrong with that, it's just frustrating sometimes. And like being with Jude, it's kind of like I have my own room because he is literally only in the room when he's going to sleep. And it's just, it's literally so much nicer have it, just having this room. And I have a spare bed for sleepovers as well now. Even though it has nothing in it, I have a spare bed. We're just in the car guys, on our way to Tesco's. And it's really funny, cause it's just us girls today. Say hi, Iris. Hi. Say hi, Ollie. Hi. Say hi, G. Hi. Say hi, Mum. Hi. And Max is out football, and Jude's at home getting dressed because we're going out today. And I'm so excited, even though my mum hasn't told us where we're going yet. But um, it's a beautiful day outside, so I'm really excited to find out where we're going. Woo! Hey! <laughs> Olive is having a slight meltdown at the moment, guys. She really doesn't do supermarkets very well and I'm a bit disappointed because the whole point that the whole point of me coming to Tesco's was to try and pick up some of the new wicked range pizzas and they don't have any in stock because I have already got a shop coming from Ocado tomorrow so this was just a like top up but they don't even have a lot of the stuff that I need so hopefully we can get in and out pretty quickly because Ollie is not doing well my arm, I want to down my arm. Do you want to sit in the trolley now? Yeah. Okay, you can do. Guys, look, her shoes are, no, her shoes are falling off and everything. So big what are you doing? Let's put you in. Look at Ollie's new boots. They are pretty awesome. Yeah, and I picked my favourite colour. Yeah. Pink and purple. Yeah, yeah, I was just about to say I thought it was purple. That back is sauce. Yes, it's sauce. I didn't mean to chip. Are you feeling happier now? I mean chips as well. Oh yeah, you have chips with sauce, that's right. Right, let's quickly get through the shop and out again. Yeah? And I'm gonna here. Good idea. That was literally one of the worst experiences of my life. That's what it's like shopping with children. Do you understand now why I do online shopping yeah. for everything? It's so much easier, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I mean, you just, the only thing, sometimes I like going to different shops. Yeah. And that's the thing, because we get all of our stuff from Mercado, so sometimes it's nice to go to other shops and pick bits up. But it's never a good idea for the little ones, is it? It's never going to go to the baby. I have to sit next to them. Who's worse, Ollie or I? I mean, We are home now guys and um, I actually forgot to say I went back to the vegan pizza part and just by chance they had restocked and I managed to get four pizzas. 
so something good did come out of my trip um iris is currently having a meltdown of her own and apparently i'm not invited to her party or is it you it's both of us oh yeah me and jean are not allowed to go to her birthday parties um because i asked her not to throw her shoe when she took it off and she threw it at jean so jean's not allowed to go either um so let me just show you the pizzas I got two of the barbecue mushroom ones. This is what I've had last time and I really, really like them. And we also got two of the caponata, is that how you say it? Caponata ones and they've got like pesto in um, like a little sachet. So I'm gonna put them on now. Try and get everyone fed. Um, it's now quarter to three. My plans seem to be fizzling further and further away. But I'm, like I said before, I'm still hopeful. I like, like to cling on to the last piece of hope until all hope is lost. And as of yet, hope is not lost, not yet. I just got back from football and right now I'm just gonna go and see what else he's doing. Hello. Hi. I was just trying to practice my cheer routine, the first part. Let's see it. You don't have to. Why? Because it's a secret. Yeah, but I just got back from football and I would have scored at the end. I was like, the I was like the last minute I was about to take a shot and score and then the, the, the ref blowed, blowed the whistle as soon as three away. Did he do it on purpose? <laughs> no, he done it on purpose because it was going to be 5-3. Three. 5-3. Three. Did you win though or did you? We won. Yeah. Did you win? Yeah. 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 I was actually trying about, about trying to do the lifting but I don't know how. I actually remember well, where's he then? a blanket. I think I actually I think a hat. Uh, it, it, yeah, but yeah, there's a hole in the other end. Yeah, but he's gonna sew, sew that up. I mean, um, do it up. Jean's making something for Nitty as well. Up there, this purple thing. No, this is not in my room. <laughs> Let's go into our room. Then. I have finally got lunch on the plates, guys. And you know what the time is? It's twenty to four. Right. How can we be having lunch at 20 to 4? It's just, I don't know where the time has gone today. It's absolutely insane. Here is our scrummy, yummy lunch. I don't have enough side space, so we have to put one plate up there. So everyone's got some pizza each, some chips, and some salad. That one. Oh, that pizza smells so good. I was going to say, thank you, Mummy. Thank you, Mummy. Thank you, Mummy. Thank you, Mummy. You're welcome, son. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Guys and gals, you know we were supposed to be going out today and I didn't tell you where. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to tell you now because unfortunately, I don't think we're going to make it. Okay. I had planned from last night, literally from last night, I looked on my like weather app on my phone and it said it was going to be really sunny and I thought, why don't we drive down to the beach? Oh, oh. I to go to the beach. Yeah. I, I really wanted to, obviously not for a swim, but just like for a walk, because it's so bright. And I was going to take that kite. You know that kite? Have we flown that kite that's upstairs? We oh, we flew it in Australia. I, I, yeah, yeah. Did I fly it or did you not fly it? We flew it. I don't remember. You flew it. Yeah, so I was going to take the kite, go down to the beach, because I don't think we've actually been to a beach since Australia, have we? So long. I know, and even though it's freezing cold, where it's really bright and sunny, I thought it would have been really nice to yeah. go down there. But it's literally like coming up to five o'clock. The drive down there would be long. I don't know if there's going to be traffic on the road because like people go away for the weekends then come back. I really, really, really wanted to make it happen, but all of a sudden everything got away from us. I was just saying to the the camera, we ate lunch at quarter to four. Like, yeah. what happened? I got up really early this morning. I got, you lot were all up. We were all up, washed, dressed really early. You went to football, and Time just went away so I think there. Tesco's was the uh, the hard thing of the day. Yeah, it took us yeah, a really long time because, so long. honestly, Olive had about a million breakdowns. Didn't you, Ollie? Did you have a lot of breakdowns in Tesco's? Yeah. Well, what are you doing? Or three, or <laughs> She's going to fly off. Yeah, this is really hard for my legs. Let you feel my muscles, guys. Feet. Go, clear, clear. This could be like a workout, couldn't it? It's like leg extension. Tail goes, swish. And <laughs> she's going around so tight. Really hurt. Really burning. Giddy up, giddy down. We're home. It's really hard. How are you going to get her off? It's like exercise. Oh, it's you and the active lifter, it's really hard. You have to. Oh, you've got quite strong leg muscles, though, haven't you? Yeah, but I don't know. Look at her face. 
eyes. Yeah. Well, really hurts. I can't do anymore. I'm done. Quick. Get off. Go. Do you know what day it is tomorrow? Yeah. It's the first day of the school week, which means it's Monday. Yeah, and it means that I get uh, eyes on you and cry. No, it doesn't mean that. But I cry again. I cry every day, don't let me have an ice cream on the next day. Well, I've already told you what the ice creams are for. I've bought lots of little desserts for after dinner. No! But we can't eat them all in one day. Why? And you saying that you're going to cry for it is not very nice, to be honest. Yeah. And I expect more of you. Are you looking forward to school tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah? Are you? Well, I don't go to school, but I take you there. Yeah, but are you when you were a little girl? Yeah, I used to look forward to school. Just, I, I used to like seeing my friends, and I like my teacher quite a lot, actually. Do you like your teacher? Uh-uh. No. But I always get in trouble. What for? What I will do. What do you get into trouble for? Like, I keep looking through stuff up by accident and they get angry. angry. Do they get angry or do they just say, I'll oh, be careful next time Iris and pick that up? They don't do that. What, they shout? Yeah. My teacher, really? Because my teacher is is a naughty shouter. <laughs> your, your teacher is a naughty shouter. But I'm sorry to hear that you get shouted at. But I didn't think that happened at school. Happen. I think you need the toilet, so quickly go. Go to the toilet, please. Come straight back. Can, can you read me a story? Can you read me a story? Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me get you. And... You need to go to the toilet, okay? Okay, can I talk to you? Go on, go on, open the door. Can I talk to you? You can talk to you when you've come back and you've gone to the toilet. Shh, because Ollie's in bed. Ollie's in bed. Turns out we had a pretty average Sunday uh, after all. Um, I had really hoped to get out and spend some like quality family time in the sunshine, but Daddy was like extremely tired from last night as was Jude. Um, the day just flew away from me. I think I had, I think my expectations of what I could achieve in one day were just unrealistic. Max had football. Um, he kicked off quite late today. Usually it's really early and he's done by like half 11, 12, but he didn't start his game until 12. So he didn't get home till really late. Then um, Tesco's was the biggest catastrophe of all time. Um, then getting home, the house was already not in Great Nick, making lunch. There's no towels. <gasps> Just gonna go and get Iris a towel. Yeah, so the house wasn't in the best condition um, because I hadn't done a lot of cleaning this morning. Well done. And um, then I made lunch and then the house looked like uh, an atomic bomb had gone off in it. And then it was like four, half four, five o'clock. So yeah, I had good intentions. I could have still gone because I do think it's quite nice to like walk on the beach or we could have gone somewhere like nearby um, and just had like a stroll. But like I said, everyone was really tired, even the two babies. Although they will deny it, they are like really, really tired today. It's just a tired day for everyone, apart from me. So I was like all upbeat, let's go to the beach, let's go anywhere, you know? But, and everyone else just weren't really feeling it but we are dealing with so many different people's personalities and energy levels we're not always going to sync together and that is fine and that is all part of being part of a big family um and we just have to like go with it and find what works for all of us not just one of us good night guys guys jean has really sensitive skin and we are still no. trying to find something that works aren't yeah, we it's just horrible it doesn't go down even if you just use literally like plain water um and nothing yeah it doesn't it still gets inflamed and no. we've been using what have you been using i've been using jojoba oil yeah that's that worked didn't yeah, that worked it really well it made my skin go down my skin was all nice but then and started then using my out. stuff didn't you yeah, I ran out and I started using this moisturiser that mum has in the bathroom and uh, it's just... Embryolis, yeah. ...had just gone so bad. But then this morning you used apricot 
kernel oil yeah. maybe you need to use that for a, a while for okay. it to calm down but we probably need to get you some more jojoba oil yeah. if that was that what really worked. worked yeah it looks sore it looks uncomfortable this is jude's um boxing corner which is getting progressively bigger and messier and his guitars which he no longer plays which he spent an absolute fortune on jude is an extremely messy boy really messy and if you tell him to go and tidy up rather than actually tidy up he'll try and push things under things and hide things i don't understand just actually do it then it's done because the thing is i come up i find out that he's done it and then he has to do it again but he still tries to hide it there's like a <laughs> he does that time. every time it's just bizarre to me i'd I mean, rather just do the job in my bed because you know yeah. this big lump of toys that i cover up with a blanket when i know in bed, it's, it's just cool. crazy he thinks if it's pushed under something i won't notice I I am the all seeing eye. I see everything. You can't you can't get anything past me, don't you think? Yeah. Or do you not think? Is no, there things think. that you've got past no, me? No, I do think. I'm quite observant, I think. Yeah. We are going to play how do you say it? Well, rum, I'm a king. I no, what do you call it? Rummy club. It's called Rummy Club. Anyway, I did buy this at Christmas to play over Christmas, but I, I think you lot played it. Yeah. But I have actually never played it. It's usually my mum that plays with these guys. It's really, so good. it's really good. I actually have no idea how to play it either. I can teach you how right. to play it. Right, yes, teach me. It's actually a good game. I'm getting used to it. I think I'm going to win. I think I'm going to win. Feeling lucky. So, I won Rummy Club. Well done no, to me. <laughs> no, actually, Jude won. I came second. Mum came third. Max Jean came. Jean, Jean dropped out. Jean was like, I'm on my computer and I'll see you. Tomorrow, Elsie is going to be doing. Away in a day. Yeah, what I eat in a day school edition. So she'll be showing you her pet lunch, a snack, um, like breakfast. And you also have cheer tomorrow. So she'll be showing you what she takes there and eats after that. Because you're always yeah. hungry when you come back. Yeah, aren't you? starving when I get back. Elsie was a bit upset she didn't get to go to the gym yeah. tonight. But I just didn't want to pick her up. <laughs> Sorry, babe. I'm upset now. Sorry, babe. Mm. She did cry, didn't you? I did cry for a little bit. And I comforted you yeah. with love, <laughs> didn't I? Okay, thank you so much for watching another one of our VLOGSs. And we will see you tomorrow for sure. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Say bye, Jean. <laughs> Jean, say bye. Pardon? Say bye. <laughs> what are you looking at? You're like, ha, 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 into the screen. <laughs> no, I'm looking at videos that I have saved on my laptop. Just say so bye, now, What are they? The videos that me um, and my friends have filmed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Weird ones. Yeah, they're, they're, weird not, they're not weird. They are. You just like put your eye really close to the screen <laughs> and things like that. You might be a wrestler. Yeah. Wow. What will your name be? Big Shorty. Big Shorty. <laughs> <laughs> or Mad Max, that's what you usually call yourself, Mad isn't Max it? Mad Max or Mad Boy. Mad Boy? Mad Boy. <laughs> that would be actually a good name. <laughs>